Hello, this is Dan over at Car Breeder and Distributor Specialties. A client, Ray, shipped me a brand new uh, Chevy Distributor, HEI. Um, it's brand new in the box. As you can see, it's a made-in-China distributor. I'm not sure where he got it. But um, he wanted me to take a look at the curve, so I'm going to get this thing unboxed, put it on the machine, and I'll pick up at the machine showing um, how the curve is on it. I know a lot of people are interested in if these, uh, you know, Chinese uh, performance distributors are, um, are what they're cracked up to be. So let's put one on the machine and check it out. Okay, we're at the distributor machine. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. It ends up being an Excel uh, distributor. The part number is 59130. So let's see what it does. I'll call out the um, RPM graduations for you. We're zeroed out. We start coming off idle or uh, mechanical advance starts in right around a, a thousand engine RPM. So that's good. We'll keep cranking it up just to see our max. It seems to stall around at uh, 16 degrees at around 2,000 engine RPM. Now we're starting to pick up again at 2,200, 20, yeah, 2,200. So we're at 20 degrees mechanical at about 2,600 RPM. 22 degrees at Still about 2600, maybe 27. We're starting to climb again. We're at 4000 engine RPM. About 5500 RPM, we're at 28 degrees. Thirty plus degrees at seven thousand plus RPM. So the curve looks pretty good. It just looks like it needs to be limited. It did come with a bag of tricks and no instructions really. Um, it came with these uh, bag of tricks right here, and it looks like some of these might be a limiter for the vacuum advance. I'm um, not the vacuum advance, but for the mechanical advance. So I'm gonna put that in and see if we can get the, um, um, limit the mechanical advance and have this thing uh, work pretty much out of the box. All right, I've taken this apart. I'm freehanding it if it's a little wobbly, but um, this looks like a regular um, or patterned after the original HEI. There's really no ability to limit the advance in here short of welding these slots up uh, because there's too tight on the side there's no bushings in that little bag of tricks to uh, limit that so I'm going to take this distributor apart and uh, weld up those gaps there and um, get it to our uh, the client on this one's 22 degrees of mechanical so I'll get that uh, taken care of to do that, you gotta take the shaft apart and um, I'll take do that and put it back together and get this thing on the road. All right, this is Dan, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and limited the advance on the distributor. I'll take it apart and show you a steel, still photograph of how I did that. But um, to get it dialed in, I did have to end up changing the springs on it and I'll show you where we're at now. I'm sorry if in the original photo, I, I probably wasn't getting, getting um, this 
focused for you, but I've got it set up in here now. We'll go ahead and turn the machine on. Um, let me see, you should be able to see this. We're zeroed out here. And we'll go ahead and see when it comes off, when our mechanical starts coming in. Right around there, which is about 900 RPM, which is perfect. We have a pretty progressive curve. Let's see where we hit the uh, 20 degree mark. Each one of these hash marks is uh, two degrees of crank degrees. So right there we're at 20 degrees and we're about 2800 RPM. I don't know, I think the uh, tachometer is out of your view. But it's 2800 RPM. Now we'll give it some more. Six thousand RPM. You can see that it's staying at twenty. So we've got the curve dialed in that we want. Um, I misspoke earlier. The customer, his engine builder, wants twenty degrees of mechanical, which is pretty common in these, and um, we've got it limited. So the million dollar question is: Would I buy one of these hundred and ten dollar distributors and put it in my car? The answer is no. The reason I would not is because there was way too much advance allowed in this distributor. Um, we had to limit it if you were to, I think if you look online, this thing has pretty good reviews, but I think the people are feeling that um, off, thr off throttle response, which is uh, much different than their old uh, worn out um, HEI that came in the car originally. But the reality is you're not able to put in the number of or the amount of initial uh, timing into your engine, which, you know, is 14 to 16 degrees, depending on what you're running. This is going in a small block Chevy um, and still end up with 36 degrees total, which is the magic number, you know, with as much uh, advance as this distributor had in it. You know, you'd be putting four or six degrees initial. Um, and if you tried to get your initial timing up to 16, then uh, you would likely have knocking it at high end. So anyway, um, I just thought I would use this as an opportunity to share um, a brand new uh, out of the box distributor. Uh, if this thing had a great curve, I'd report that it had a great curve but it doesn't. So to use the information uh, as you see fit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the vacuum can limited for the uh, customer. This thing they have on here is pretty cool to limit that. Um, and then we'll get it shipped off to them today. Again, uh, my name of the business is Carburetor and Distributor Specialties. My website is www.gasandspark, all spelled out, dot com. And uh, I also have a Facebook page if you want to follow me and look me up and follow me on there. Thank you very much for watching.